28 in their first fight in Houston. Let's take a look at what happened in the fight. Early on, Chris John appeared to be applying his boxing skills effectively and took an early lead on the scorecards, winning five of the first six rounds against Rocky Juarez. What did you see happening in the fight, Emmanuel? Well, as Chris John is just a busy fighter. He twists and pivots and throws punching all while he's doing it. And Juarez is basically setting up for power punches. And I think later in the fight, when he just started to, I guess, becoming a little bit more anxious and throwing more punches, he won. But he cannot sit down and try to wait on and land in power punches because Chris John is a very busy, busy fighter. And this fight, Chris said he's in better shape and he won't fold going down the stretch as he did the first fight when he ended up being a draw. It was a for Chris John against former American Olympian Rocky Amada and Herb Santos. And inside the ring, your referee in charge of the action. Out even. WBA featherweight champion of the world. I'm not fair, but I'm firm. Top guys, but nevertheless, he spent too much time trying to punch to the behind because he never did effectively wear down John. He defender. And when you start punching at him, either when he finishes up his punches, he finishes up moving off on our back. More passionate. Indeed, trainers talk about it all the time when you hit the elbows. And that's what Rockies do because he's physically a compact little fight for him. Later in the fights, he's come on, but he's given away too many positions because he steadily moves off to the right a lot. But he's moving toward Rocky. Lost his first fight against Pereira on a scoring team fight. Pereira made significant and winning. But it, it tells you how Emmanuel Stewart sits there. He's coming in hesitating just a little. Chris John gets shots off and he slides off to. See if Chris John his record just can see. Uppercut coming in for Chris John, much like what we were saying should have been did in the last fight. When a guy's coming forward with his head, Fields, who's the trainer for Warriors, telling him what to do. John finishes up off the time, moving off to his right, and that would count now. Warriors is funny shields. Excellent. has stunned the memory of Arturo Gatti. Yeah, I noticed he had it on his road out of the ring if you met him. Even in person, he was always very charismatic. Earlier, Chris John, big Gatti fans. Everyone was a Gatti fan. Beautiful. With that jab, Emmanuel. Draw, at least, when he came on too late much. But when he punches together so well, Makes it more difficult, it seems. But I may be wrong, but it seems like John is a lot more being more stationary. So far, Warren. What Ronnie Shields him to adjust it very effectively to sets up things. Emmanuel, you mentioned better meetings yesterday, but they want John to develop more power so he's able to move up. You can just add to punch and power without making drastic changes in your style. Chosen to honor Arturo Thunder Gaddy tonight with his name on his trunks. It Especially is. considering the style. It, 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 the style is more the style of a Gaddy when you look at it. Confess that I was away from the table. A little action. Gotcha. Um, the, the idea of Chris John, because he got the guys had 44 pounds. Houston about how if he wanted to make a mark manager, we're both saying, yeah, yeah, we have to do it. You know, speaking of these fight, and one of these fractional belts. A murderous featherweight era where he's against... Makes me like him better. It does. Marquez and Marco and Chris John. Almost makes... Juarez getting in a couple of more damaging blows here. Juarez, that third round, he landed a heck of a mate. He's just not doing enough. I think mean, if the guy working that left hip, working a combination... There was a concern than the, that, that Juarez was coming on a little last round. Problem for John. Longer guy. That's the... He got in a good left hook to the body. From a distance than in previous fights. No. There's a good right hand by John. He's landed about three. For Juarez and another... He's been able to penetrate and bring it over there. And he's been landing that pretty effective. And he's been a silver medalist at featherweight ever since then. And he's a silver medalist here tonight, so far. He has been rising in prominence. Always. Chris John, the team needs, and the fight now is moving. He's really starting to put on a clinic to some degree. Max, thank you for the correction. It was the last round for John Emanuel Stewart. He landed. He'll need to do more of that. And Chris John is mixing up his right hand. He lands right. So good, and he's so confident in it. That he'll throw. Is power. Nobody. He beats you to the punch yeah. as often as not. Yeah, he can pretty much anticipate. Oh, 
Maga. Hi, Chris. To a close so far, it is a... And it appears that Rocky Juarez needs for it to become a fight. New contract was written for the bout. The previous contract, a monetary payment to Marquez of, we are told, 144. Mayweather is not allowing us to wait overnight from 142 up to 148. Sometimes when a guy's coming up in weight, he does not gain a lot of weight. Suggests that he wanted up whatever they fact that it seemed like he's doing. He had no problem making the weight. Max, I'm assuming that he put an intravenous needle overnight, uh, and that's how he gained the six extra pounds. It, it could be. You know, that's something that very few people know in the general public. When Incidentally, they, yeah, I'm speculating. Well, you know, the interesting thing is usually a case like if he never intends to make the, in this case, because that it's a huge competitive. Marquez wasn't killing himself to make apparently the weight at which he wanted to fight and did not have to trim off another. That means no millions. And as John and Juarez continue to fight essentially the same... What you tell Juan. No, no lo vamos a cambiar por nada. Y la... Con su... Con la mejor escuela. And uh, you know that the best uh, that Juan has will uh, meet tonight in quality. Thanks, Nacho. Johnson and Juarez in the green. Partially because, as you can clearly see, dramatic change in tactics or strategy which will... Mark this fighter becoming ridiculously one-sided in the last round. Nine fifty-five, Chris John. You're not, not doing Chris. enough. Absolutely not busy enough. The issue of Rocky Juarez's mohawk came up at the rules meeting. Make it hard so it could do damage. It's okay. Five ways. Conversation with Berestein about the. It's unusual, decisive advantage for the opponent. And earlier, it's not as though. Juan Ma and therefore Floyd has this advantage. It's simply that Marquez doesn't get the advantage of... We'll hear from Juan Manuel Marquez later about the same subject. You know, and you compare it to Oscar De La Hoya, who had to melt down in the fight. Oh, has to make it a fight. It's a fighter to do at this stage in their career. Similar to what happened against Pereira. First fight was close. Most people thought Juarez had won. Same way, and Pereira... Fighting his fight. He's fighting his regular fight, but I was just watching Rod Williams when he threw a few jabs there, getting the hand on points. Just that in uh, John's punching power, especially with the right hand. Not, I, I, not I would say so too. And he throws sometimes the right uppercut. But he sees Marco Antonio Barrera is who he is, partly because he was able in the middle of his career. And uh, Chris John, you see here, making a, maybe that subtle adjustment punch. Torres, who's not quite been at that level, has not been able to do that. He had enough big fights right now to know what I'm in his head with the champions and the Olympics and stuff. He just doesn't let the punches go. Oh, Did to prepare for uh, Prince Nassim. Actually, and found out you can't win at the very highest levels like that. And boxer, never seen a metamorphosis. Well, earlier you heard Max Kellerman's conversation with Juan Manuel Marquez trainer Nacho Berestein about weight. Here now is Juan Manuel Marquez. The advantage for him that you would rather not have him. Yo creo que no le importó, pero sí me hubiese gustado que hubiera pesado. With the goods, if you will, uh, and, and, it, and it, obviously, if he would come up with the... How do you plan on... ...ganas de querer ganar. With boxing, with good technique, and with the will to win. Thanks, Juan thought the information was important. Incidentally, Floyd Mayweather declined to do an inch privately, as most fighters do. That is privilege. The last three rounds prior to this one, Chris John outlanded Rocky Juarez 74-24 to by CompuBox count. Gentlemen, as we come down the stretch, no stand-up on camera for us. So as significant changes, we're going to begin the discussion of with you in the next round. Marquez, who's never really made the money, commenced $600,000. How much of the missed pesos for Marquez were the result of distance with guys like Hamed and Barrera and Morales, and how much were the result of questionable decisions by him and his manager? I, I think there's some of both. It sounds like a cop-out answer, but... 89, 82, refuses to go to work. I mean, he just is not busy enough.
All right, we're going to keep an eye on this, as you do, and John and Juarez. But, Max, let's start with this one. Floyd Mayweather comes back from 20 on almost all the expert lists as the number of the world. Is it a brave risk, or is it another carefully chosen? Certainly the smaller men. He was of Manny Pacquiao, the same guy Floyd is, yes, really of top rank. In rather aggressively, Aram can withstand the economic forces of the sport enough to make that Emmanuel. That's right. And it's the most anticipated, I think, in desired fight in boxing today. Regardless of what and everything else, everybody wants to see that fight. In fact, most people, when they found out I was coming out for this fight here, they were thinking Mayweather. You see any dark on the slight swelling around his eyes? At this stage of the fight, he could comfortably probably still close near the end. Taking the measure of every round but one or two. And given that he's the larger man, controlled technical style which emphasizes defense. What can the smaller man Marquez do? apply pressure. He's got to put pressure, but he can't get careless and throw punches at where so many guys do. To see how the hand speeds match up when they come out. I think that even though Marquez is a smaller guy, he's a very balanced out to favor Florida a little bit. In a scouting report for the fight, eyes that Mayweather had trouble with two things. A jab, but certainly throwing punches in bunches is one of Marquez's greatest strengths. Does it enhance his chances oh, to win? I think so. And, 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 I think the jab statement was true, but Marquez hardly be as effective as the Oscar was. Oscar was a 5 for 10 guy compared to, but Oscar negated the height by bending forward. And throwing those punches, he's going to own an 8 with Floyd. And he's going to have to be in shape to not be tired in the last part of the fight. And Final question, Emmanuel. He has been putting people on their backs. Spectacular. Floyd, I think with his natural physical size, forget what they oh, weighed on, in. Get on, get on. He's a bigger guy. And here's a good chance of scoring a knockout still. Putting in Chris John and Rocky Juarez. I mean, Juarez, as he did in the first fight, started to land some heavy shots to the head. Of course, here it is in the 11th round, and he's way, way behind on the score. But it appears if he stands up. Yeah, it looks like they, were, they both stepped up. Juarez kind of stopped. Gave that round to Juarez, narrowing the Which could give Rocky Juarez some right-hand opportunities. Dramatically, I think the more he didn't deserve and actually beat the top featherweight in the world and win the title. But what it was more likely to be, which is a continuation of the story, is a story wins, wins over Marquez and, and it looks like Juarez now twice. And um, right, but he's never lost. And one of the draws was to Juarez, and another was a a, a, a technical draw early in a fight uh, in three functionally probably 45 and, and you imagine that without the decision on, no fluke he has proven his quality above that stage now and he's the class of the, divi of the division oh. and he almost goes down on the left Juarez must recognize now he has a chance John was wobbled Badly. and barely stood up Chris John unbeaten in 46 fights. John's just holding on. Eight, seven, six, five. Oh my gosh. Took inside that seemed to wobble Chris John. Boom. And there, he almost went down. If this isn't the story of Rocky Juarez's career, isn't it the my unanimous decision? And still, WBA featherweight world champion. And landing at a significant.